What's up guys? I'm the black one and here we go once more with an episode of Skyrim. Um, I do have a new mod on today. I've been testing it out and um, it does get pretty laggy in some areas of Skyrim but I, I really like it so far and it is the uh, Skyrim ENB Enhanced Shaders mod. Um, my laptop can barely handle it <laughs> but it can so um, it's a uh, it works when it when it wants to work it works really well I really do enjoy it so um, sometimes you'll see the screen flicker and that's me turning it on and off just because we need uh, you know I think I'm actually using the default lighting right now that's what it kinda looks like let me see yeah okay there's the mod right there see how it makes everything look a little bit softer um, and if you do notice the FPS drop on your end just let me know and I will not record with this mod. I'll only play with this mod because I know recording. I sell just about anything. Oh if shush. It's worth my time. Um, Keep that in mind. I know recording does uh, does lower my FPS as well as this mod. So just let me know if it's too low for you guys. I do what's necessary. If you're looking for Ranmir, is it? Oh, a bit of. Okay, let's see what she has to that. sell. If she has any. Ah, she doesn't have any. Hmm. Well, you know what? It looks like we're just going to have to suck it up and buy right, that Adept um, hat. Well, let's see. How close are we to leveling up? Ooh, not very. So let's see. What? I've, I've, I already forgot what skill we're trying to... Um, I'm not going to waste a perk either. I'm definitely not going to waste a perk. You know what? We'll just buy the helm. I don't want to, but what else am I going to use the money for the anyway? College is an asset. Winter holds glory days may lie um, behind it. If you can pass the test, then yes. Would you grant entry to the Dragonborn? <laughs> Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Oh, wait a second. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Hey, I do. That is something I can do for you right now. No! <gasps> So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Yes. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb hey, addition to the Hey! Right on! Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Sweet! Okay, so we didn't have to buy the helm anymore. We just had to, uh, or at all, I should say. We just had to, um, yell at her with our, with our fire voice. <laughs> ah, no matter what, I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, turn me around. Okay. Let's see. What do you have for me? Looks like official business. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, I got something from... Good. Glad we straightened that out. Wow, everybody's talking to me. I'm so popular here, apparently. Keep going. Let's go ahead and look at that note that we just got, though. Let's see. Letter from the sky in Falkreath. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is blah blah blah, and I have the honor... Be the Jarl and proud of ancient city of Falkreath. I butchered that. <laughs> the fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath, hold. I invite you to speak with me the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from that, the honor that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house, Carl. I can tell you privately that there is a choice of parcel land in Falkreath, which would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl's Stingar of Falkreath. And that, my friends, is the Hearthfire DLC that, um, it does make the water look really weird. See how wide it looks? I think, I think I need to download a fix for that. But, um, that's to come later. Um, but like I was saying, uh, that's from the Hearthfire DLC, which is absolutely awesome. Oh, I thought she was getting ready to find something. <laughs> um, it is really fun to build your own house and um, have have a house with a whole bunch of people in it. That's one of the things that I didn't like about the houses that you could have otherwise. Because um, you only ever had your house Carl and your spouse if you decided to marry. So that's two people. I mean, 
you know, that's a good amount, but eh. It's fun to have more. So in the new Hearthfire DLC, you can have a whole bunch of people living at your house. You can have your house Carl. You can have a steward. You can have your wife. And then you can have two kids as well. And then you can also have, like, a carriage driver and a bard all in your house. This, I mean, of course, you have to pay for everything, but this is all for you. It's not for anybody else, so I think it's pretty neat. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Oh, we're not going to listen to them. Yes. That uh, that would be if, if we were going to do the mage, the college, uh, well, do the mage's college. Mage college? Mage college? Magic college? Whatever. If we were to do this college's quest line, then we would pursue... Uh, well, we would continue listening to that conversation, but since we're not, we're just going to keep going. Ah, it is a bit laggy. Oh, there we go. FPS went up. Okay. Hello there, Mr. I Orc. I treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Sure thing. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of <laughs> Disrupt my Arcanium. And I will have you torn apart. By okay, the okay. I get it. <laughs> now, do you require assistance? I do indeed. I need to help locate an Elder Scroll. That. That is the option I'm looking for. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I need it for. I need to save Skyrim, so you need to give it to you me. You think that even <laughs> if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Hmm. What about the Dragonborn? What about... Wait. Are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? Yes, indeed, I'll Mr. Orc. I'll everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. <laughs> okay, um, go get the books for me then. All right then. Please. Okay, he went to one bookshelf. I'm assuming he's going to another one. Here you go. Oh. Try not to spill anything on them. Okay. We're gonna read this one, the one that says quest next to it. <laughs> Okay. Effects of Elder Scrolls. Huh. Okay. Now apparently we need to talk to him again. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. I won't. Clear. Okay. Uh, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well... He's been gone for a long while. Too long. Uh-oh, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, no. I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years. And we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. All right. It is time to go north into the ice fields. In, into the ice fields, indeed. Okay. Um. Oh look, there are other mages in there. Cool. Um, let's continue. The character I, that I like to play is a ranger slash mage. Um. I'm not really into the whole thieving, uh, thieving thing. I do like, um, ooh, I forgot this character runs out of stamina so fast. <laughs> I do like archery. Archery is by far my favorite, uh, way to attack in this game. Um, especially once you get the, the perk that speeds up your action speed for for archery it's it's actually really nice um it is really dark i am going to go ahead and wait let's see what time is it oh it's just, just barely night time you know what do we have we have clear skies don't we yes we do let's use it even though um clear skies hardly ever works here in this 
in this part of Skyrim, I've noticed. <laughs> uh, this town is it's always snowing. I think there's literally like just a couple times. I know I've said this before, but there are just a couple times when it's not snowing. It's like sunny days in uh, in the UK. They only come like three or four days of the year. <laughs> We'll keep using it though in hopes that it will uh, go ahead and pass, make the storm pass. I think what this shout actually does, um, I think it just fast forwards the current weather by a certain amount of time. But I'm not 100% sure. <gasps> it's gone! I think that's so awesome. Oh, that's a really good shot of the mage hall. Okay, I see some wolves down there. Let's bust out the bow. Actually, you know what? We don't need the bow. We're men. Well, let's go take them. Bring it. Bring it on. I almost missed. <laughs> there we go. Definitely take their pelts because it's good for uh, good for crafting later on. And now I believe. See, I think this is a glitch. Watch when I go underwater. Um cannot see a thing like at all it's kind of scary actually because I don't know if I'm drowning or not <laughs> but um, I think that's because of the, the shader that I have installed this mod so I'll just try to stay out of the water there we go I actually kind of look how my character looks with that hood there we go You know, there was this one time when I was little, uh, we went to my grandparents' house, and we got some of those really big inner tubes, those really big, uh, those tire inner tubes, um, you know, ones that would be, like, for tractors or something, and, uh, we got on a hill, uh, I think that's a glitch, too, I don't think the moon's supposed to be black, <laughs> um, and it was a hill like this, and it went right to you know, went right to a river just like this, and, uh, the river was completely frozen over, and this hill, I mean, it wasn't this small, it was huge, it was like, uh, I'd say at least 300 feet long, and we would fly down the hill and then slide out on the ice on the river, it was really fun. Thinking back on it now, I, I think that it may not have been the best idea, <laughs> just because, you know, what if the ice broke? You'd be screwed. Die, horker. We're going to take their tusks and their meat as well. There we go. Smack him. Done for. Not a chance. Do we have a cure disease potion? I still haven't cured my disease, which is really bad because I'm the two-handed user and it totally hinders two-handed users. <laughs> I see if I was a werewolf, I wouldn't have to worry about this kind of stuff. That's probably my favorite uh, favorite aspect of being a werewolf. Um, I know you can get EXP bonuses if you don't sleep. I mean, if you don't become a werewolf and then you do sleep regularly, you get you actually level, you do level up faster. So um, that's a really good way to power level a character, you could say. Um, but I I love not having to carry around cure disease potions because um, werewolves uh, they have immunity complete immunity now red guards are the most immune I think um, I think out of all the races but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that I'm not yeah, I'm not sure huh so um, here we are in uh, Septimus's cave but we will call we'll we'll talk to him next episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my Skyrim let's play um, be sure to check out my community website for uh, for events that I've been holding and uh, just to generally talk with the other YouTubers that I like to converse with and hang out with. So uh, the link, link to that website is in the description below. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.